Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Working the body game. Working the body game. Hey, this is a very key one. Now, usually I do these in car videos, but one of the things I wanted to sit down in a more, uh, well, formal setting and uh, really explain working the body game. Not just, uh, not just building your body up, but you got to learn how to work it. You know, you really got to learn how to work it. And because, yeah, you can have all those muscles and everything like that and be in that good shape. And of course, you're getting some attention from women. But OK, most women still not going to approach you. Most women still not going to approach you. And even the rest. OK, yeah, they put themselves in your path and put themselves in a position to be approached. But even then, you still got to do something. And then, look, before you even get to that point, yeah, you got that body, but you got to learn how to work it. What good is it if you got like that big chest and, you know, muscular arms, but you wearing something like super loose around you and they can't really tell? Or you wearing some wrinkled clothes or some jacked up looking clothing that really don't match your skin complexion, your body build, something like that, which will deter from having that body because you still you still you still got to think about it and then even then okay you got over there you talking to it you still got to talk to her. you still get you still got to have a conversation you can't get past that and i keep telling guys that you can't get past that so first thing okay you got that body you need to dress as as a magnet which means drawing the woman's attention to you. See, clothing is either used as a magnet or a shield. A magnet means it uh, emphasizes your body. Like, uh, look at it, how women emphasize their bodies. Like, you got two different women. Now, you both got Coke bottle figures. Both got the big prosthesis and big old bud dunk, right? And they're twins. But one is wearing her clothes as a shield. So you can't really tell what her body's like. You know, it's very loose. It, nothing shows her waist and everything, her waist to hip uh, ratio. You, don't, you can't really tell she got a Coke bottle figure because she's wearing some very loose clothing. And then even then, they're not very sensual. They're more like grandma clothing. And then you got the other woman. Oh, you see every inch because she got some tight clothes on when it shows every inch of her body. In fact, she's even emphasizing the jeans are extra tight. The top is really showing her breast assists and everything. Well, with men, it's kind of the same thing. Now, you don't want to wear tight, tight, but OK, like your sweaters, your shirts. Like if you're wearing a dress shirt, always emphasize wear a slim fit or um, yeah, slim fit. They used to call it athletic fit. They'll call it slim fit now. It's tapered, whatever. Because, uh, and this is coming from somebody who used to work at a department store or in the men's section. So I had to advise some people on this. Um, regular shirts, if when you get regular, they just hang down. They're big if you're a big old dude with a big stomach. They got room. So they're not good. They're gonna be loose on you. When, you, when trim fit, slim fit, athletic fit they're going to be more tapered it's going to be more tapered going down so you when you're wearing a dress shirt you want to wear that if you're a suit and tight type a suit and tie type of guy what you need to do is get your clothes tailored even if you buy them off the rack you can still get them tailored get them tailored like tailored to your exact fit that's very important because you need to highlight your form. When you're wearing um, maybe more casual shirts, like in the summer or something, like T-shirts, you know, you still want it, you know, you, you don't want it tight, tight, but you still want it where it emphasizes your physicality. Like if you've got arms, you definitely want to wear a short sleeve shirt that emphasizes it. And then something that, you know, really emphasizes your form. That's very important. In the winter, the sweaters, they, they need to fit a certain way. 
So you still want something, it don't have to be tight tight, but something that fits the form where they can see what you got. So that's the physical thing. That's just the physical aspect of it. But then understand something, when women see a body that turns them on sexually, oh, they're going to show something. They might not approach, some will be aggressive enough to, to approach you, but it'll be like three things. Some. A few, no, a few rather, will be aggressive enough to approach you, but that's rare. And just come up and say, hey, you know, use a big fine man. I want you to stick that thing in. Yeah, that's going to be extremely rare. Usually it'll be like they'll just see you, check you out. If they're interested, they'll try to put themselves in your path. And then others, they'll, like if you're in a grocery store or something, they notice it. They'll say something. They'll give you a loose statement. Like a little trick is if they see you and talk to you and make a little joke or something, that's an opening. One of the things when you, when you have that body, when you have that attractive physical appearance, what you pay attention for is a woman giving you an opening. That's the thing. Is she giving you an opening to talk to her? That's the key right there. It's not so much of your game, but paying attention. If you see a woman, even when you cold approaching, how's she walking? How's she walking? Is she walking defensively where she don't want to be? Because trust me, women are always looking. So she saw you probably blocks away. Is she walking defensive? Like when women's walking, a woman's walking defensive, she's going to be, keep her head straight ahead. She ain't going to look around. She ain't going to be smiling. But say you're around a woman, she sees you and you, it, you might not have saw her looking at you, but she's just being real peaceful, real peaceful, real calm. And then I guarantee once you say something to her, she'll be like, she'll be just chatty. I mentioned before, and that woman might even watch this. I'm coming out of a restaurant, you know, local restaurant just for lunch. And she coming out at the same time, I actually held the door. She actually purposely walked right beside me. And I was just like, oh, okay. <laughs> You know, we talked and stuff, but yeah. But anyway, I knew what was up. She actually complimented me and everything, you know? So that's the thing. You pay attention to how the women are responding around you. Not so much game, but you gotta pay attention. That's how you work it. Who's, because when women checking out a body, they're gonna, I mean, yeah, it's great if they just look and stare and give you those choosing signals, but they ain't gonna always do that. But are they keeping in the same proximity as you? Are they making it easy for you to approach? You know, because seriously, because sometimes they might not even smile, but they'll just be right there. I've had some guys, they've commented, like when I've talked about body game and they've commented, they'd be in the gym and some woman be like working out next to them or something like that when she could have easily avoided it. That's something. That's something right there. So you want to get to that point, all right? You want to get to that point where you're just paying attention. That's how you work it. So it's a two-step process, really. One, you just enhance what you're doing with the clothing that you wear, clothing that fits you, clothing that's uh, clean, cl clothing that even the colors you wear that complement your skin complexion and everything. So that's, that's one, you know, and then you pay attention to how the women are responding around you. How are they acting? Because trust me, if a woman don't want you to approach or they ain't feeling you, they try to keep their distance. So as a woman just, like I say, if you're around a group of women, is one just meandering? And then it gets obvious if they look at you and they have a long smile or something, or if they talk to you, it could be something, or even, I'm gonna tell you what, even if they start talking, they make a little joke with you. That means they're comfortable around you. So, pay attention. That's a big part of uh, that thing called game anyway, just paying attention. You know what, I'm gonna talk about that pay attention thing this week, all right? So anyway, I'll get back with you. Peace and blessings.